Hi, I'm Catherine Martin, Interim CEO of the Santa Barbara Symphony. I was also your interim back in 2016 when I was traveling up from San Diego every week. And wow, now everything is so different. Uh, the world is different. Peter and I now live here. Santa Barbara is our home and in so many ways feel like we are exactly where we are meant to be as we look for ways to contribute to our new community. I was actually born in Cottage Hospital when my dad was at UCSB. Um, so, so honored, so grateful, uh, so excited about leading the symphony at this particular time. Uh, I've never had to lead a symphony during a pandemic. So this is the 11th organization I've led as a professional interim. And on the surface, everything we do, everything we do, we touch, we have to do every day has changed. So performances had to be canceled. Uh, I'm now meeting with, I'm, I'm leading a staff that some of them I've never met in person. I've never been in the same room with. Um, we're having daily remote uh, staff meetings. Talked with our musicians, um, our orchestra committee meeting last week. They're struggling to get unemployment. We miss them. Everything, everything is different. And yet, we're all doing what we always do as a community, as a community who needs the arts and the indispensable role a symphony plays. So yesterday, I went up to the office with the mask uh, and hand signed thank you letters for all of the donations that were coming in. I responded to the wonderful emails and phone calls asking me how you can help. We've got a small and mighty staff and they're working literally around the clock. You know, we're all working from home and so it looks like there's more flexibility and yet for some it just means that we're accessible to each other uh, because there's a lot of work that needs to be done. Um, but we're working around the clock to make sure that we find new ways to connect, inspire, and engage with a community who needs us, who needs us now more than ever. You may have all seen in the news uh, that all of our music education programming has already gone online, so 100% virtual. And there's more to come on that that will be announced soon. Uh, Nir Cabaretti, our maestro, I mean, wow, what an incredible treasure for Santa Barbara. I'm so lucky to have him as a partner on this journey. And he's actively collaborating with our incredible mu musicians, incredible musicians, to create more Sundays with the Symphony experiences online. So we've had two streaming events, live streaming events, uh, live streaming events of, re of favorite recordings. And we're programming more of those kinds of experiences, maybe some interaction with uh, musicians that you know and love, lots coming. So there are so many new possibilities for the symphony right now. I mean, every day we're hearing of, of new ideas, new creative ideas, but I really have to be clear, uh, and I hope that this is uh, appreciated, uh, that I have never experienced the kind of financial pressures that we are facing. So each week, uh, as I talk with my counterparts who are leading orchestras across, across the country, we meet every week, uh, it's clear that, uh, and, and this is just terrible, uh, that not everyone, not every symphony orchestra is going to survive. This is real. So the loss of performance income and the donations that normally come in in support of those performances is significant for all of us significant for the Santa Barbara Symphony. Now we are also, we're one of the few organizations that, um, that are setting aside, out of good financial practices, we are setting aside all of the ticket revenue that's coming in for next season. And we're not using it to cover our costs that exist right now. So this is the right thing to do, and it's a, it, it, it creates a big challenge. So our way forward, now and for the next two years is going to be through the generous support of our community for you, from you. So transformational gifts are needed as we all stand together to create new roadmaps when many of our normal routes have been washed away. <laughs> That's what it feels like uh, on many days, that the, the normal way of doing business isn't possible anymore. The normal way of delivering on our mission it's not possible, the normal way. Our a delivery on our mission is possible, but we have to create new, new routes. 
Here's what I can say. The symphony is here for you right now, right now. And with your support, we're going to be here for you when it is safe to return to experiencing live music in person together. So thank you. Really look forward to, uh, to leading this organization, to collaboratively leading this organization, to meeting all of you virtually. Um, and now I have to get back to work. So thank you.